everybody, it's Miss Kate and Henry out at Hudson Crossing Park. Henry, can you believe that we're at the end of February? Neither can I. I guess the saying is really true, time flies when you're having fun. And we've been having a lot of fun this month for Hudson Crossing Park's Podfest event. It's our pandemic friendly version of our annual Winterfest event. So this week, Henry and I wanted to think back about all of the fun activities that we did at the park this month. And we hope that quite a few of these, you can say that you've done too. I tell you folks, there's nothing that says winter fun more than a good old fashioned pot fest. Why, it seems like just yesterday, Henry and Miss Kate were out exploring the main streets of Greenwich and Schuylerville on the Great Heart Hunt. With nearly 50 hearts displayed in downtown businesses and organizations, there's plenty of love to go around. It seemed like everywhere you turned, a heart was popping up reminding us how amazing our downtown communities really are. And of course, Miss Kate and Henry had to get in on the fun and find some hearts of their own. Tell us, friends, how many hearts did you find this February? And how many hearts did you make of your own? Need to get outside and get some much needed exercise? Snowshoeing's the name of the game, and Miss Kate and Henry snowshoed all the way out to the famous Eagle Point. And that's not all. It was also a perfect time to go bird watching. That's right, folks. We all know that Hudson Crossing Park is famous for its bird watching opportunities. They saw everything from a cheerful bright red cardinal to the majestic bald eagle. How many birds did you spot on your last trip to the park? Of course, no wintertime adventure would be complete without sledding. Miss Kate and Henry had a blast sledding down Hudson Crossing Park's famous sledding hill. And of course, Henry made a few new friends along the way. Speaking of friends, Miss Kate and Henry found traces of lots of animal friends at Hudson Crossing with winter animal tracking. Some were even quite large, and more than a little unexpected. I don't know about you, Henry, but that doesn't look like a rabbit footprint to me. It seems only natural that after all of these fun and outdoor activities, Miss Kate and Henry have worked up quite the appetite. So they headed on down to the canal, and enjoyed some goodies from some of the amazing local eateries in our downtown main streets. If that cookie tastes half as good as it looks, you're having an A1 Podfest picnic. Uh-oh, it looks like all of that activity and snacking has gotten the better of Miss Kate and Henry. I can't say that I blame them. Curling up for a quick cat nap in the sun seems like the perfect way to wrap up Hudson Crossing Park's Pot Fest. We can't wait to see you next year for more winter fun at Hudson Crossing Park. What do you think, Henry? What was your favorite part of Pod Fest? Oh, all of it? That's not how favorites work, you silly mule. Although actually, I think all of it was my favorite too. I hope that you guys made it out to the park and were able to enjoy lots of fun and find lots of adventure this month. We'll see you next week.